Hey, what's going on? My name's DJ, and today I wanted to show you how to recreate this Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runners opening title sequence. Uh, shout out to this guy that made it super creative. I love the genre, I love the style, um, but it's a pretty simple, um, you know, setup in After Effects. So I wanted to show you how to make this under five minutes. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. First thing you need to do is go to unsplash.com and grab 5 to 10 photos of city landscapes. I just typed in cyberpunk city and a bunch of great pics came up. Uh, don't worry about color, uh, we'll, we'll take care of that a lot later. While on Unsplash, type in male silhouette to get our foreground character. You can totally create one yourself or even film yourself. Uh, make a moving shot uh, with the technique I'm going to show you, but for now this will work. I took all these photos into Photoshop and placed them in a 1920 by 1080 project. Exported the layers so that they were the same size so it wouldn't slow down my playback in After Effects later. If you have a monster of a computer, feel free to import them into After Effects by themselves, but Overall, I'd recommend this. Uh, for the man, I just set the composition I liked, uh, turned it black and white, and then used levels to crush the black and white levels to prep it to be used as a Luma map later. Next, I went into Illustrator, created my own rectangular silhouette. I tried finding one on Google for free, but the shapes uh, in the opener, they're actually pretty minimalistic and have sharp edges. So in order to get that same effect, I would, you know, it's best uh, to create a vector that will Keep those hard edges when you scale it and manipulate it. Once all your assets are created, then you can import them all into an After Effects project. In order to import the, sili the city silhouette properly, select the Illustrator file, then select Retain Layer Sizes. This will keep its proper placement and vector attributes needed for the effect. The first thing that we need to do is animate our city skyline. We are now going to check off the 3D layer icon so we can get the angle that we need for this. If you drag the X axis back, you'll get the tilt effect we need. Now, in the effects tab, search for CC slant. This is going to give us the motion we need. Make sure your cursor is at the beginning of the timeline and hit the slant timer to create a keyframe. I set mine to about negative 120. Then move your playhead forward about eight seconds and drag the slant slider to 150. That's hard to say, slant slider. If your bottom section looks distorted, it's okay. You can play with the height attribute and most of the flaws will be hidden once we scale it. Go back to the city landscape comp. Now let's bring our city images into the timeline. We need them to loop endlessly, so pre-comp these photos and title it city images. Select the pre-comp and go to composition settings. Make the length of the comp the length of the photo sequence. Right click the pre-comp and select enable time remapping. Create a keyframe for the last one. Delete the last keyframe and then alt-click the timer and type the expression loop out. You should be able to extend your pre-comp now, and when you play it back, it will loop for as long as you need. Go inside the pre-comp and create two new solids, black solid and a gradient solid. Change the black solid's blend mode to color and change the blend mode to multiply. To create the looping images for the foreground, I just took the same exact photos and pasted them into the timeline and reverse their order. It saves time, no one will notice. Also adjust the gradient to be red and purple, especially towards the bottom since that's where our design is. After, just repeat the same steps and name it foreground images. We're almost there. Let's start out with the foreground first. Drag your foreground silhouette into the top of the timeline. Select the track mat for the foreground image pre-comp and select foreground luma. For the effect to work, you need to click the mat icon twice to select the luma mat and then select the box next to it to invert it. Same directions, leaving city images at the bottom. Just select the track map tab and select the city landscape comp. Because the background is already transparent, you can get away with just using an alpha map. Now let's put the famous cyberpunk yellow behind our composition and put some titles in there. For the title font, I use Helvetica, and for the name font, I use Canada Gothic, which I found on Adobe Fonts. In order to get the black and white overlay effect, you need to duplicate the text and then change its color. The black text will go at the very bottom of the timeline. The white text needs to sit at the top of the sequence. It needs a copy of the city landscape comp for each text to act as an alpha map. Just repeat these steps for other text and we've made it. Now if you want all the bells and whistles and you want to add this half-tone comic book effect to all of your city images, just follow this guy's tutorial linked down in the description. I followed his tutorial in order to make it happen for mine, and he does a lot better job at explaining it than, than I could. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you had fun. 
and uh, thanks for watching.